Hi, I hope you enjoy the following presentation. Please stay tuned at the end of this presentation for a special offer from FXCM and Pristine. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the FXCM Forex course. My name is Ed Ponzi. I'm the Chief Trading Instructor at Forex Capital Markets. Today, we're going to demystify the Forex markets and uh, teach you the advantages uh, that are available and why this is probably the best market to trade. But before we get started, I have to tell you that like any type of trading, trading the Forex market can be risky. You could lose some or all of your funds. So let's take a look at some of the advantages of trading the Forex market. First of all, if you're a technical trader, in other words, if your trading is based on technical strategies, I think you'll see that the Forex market, um, when you trade any type of strategy that you've used in equities, in futures, is going to work in the Forex market as well. In other words, you can use the same strategies. Um, also, the Forex market lends itself to strong, persistent trends. So if you're a trend-following trader, I think you'll enjoy trading the Forex market. It is famous for forming trends that last for months or even years. Another advantage of trading Forex is superior leverage. Leverage is available 100 to 1, 200 to 1, or even greater leverage is possible in the Forex market. Another huge advantage would be liquidity. We're talking about a tremendously liquid market. It's more liquid than any stock market, any futures market that, you, that, that exists. We're talking about $1.4 trillion per day traded on the Forex markets. In addition, there is no directional bias to the Forex market. What I mean by that is, it's just as easy to sell short as to go long. There are no rules, such as an uptick rule, and there are no bull markets and bear markets per se. Because in Forex, you're going to be trading one currency against another. So if one currency is weak or in a bear market, then another one will be strong or in a bull market against it. So there will always be opportunities uh, to make money in the Forex market. Another huge advantage, this is a seamless 24-hour market. Literally trades round the clock. And one of the advantages of that is that you do not have to schedule uh, your, yourself around the market. The market will be available for trading when you're available for trading. It's open 24 hours a day except on the weekends. So these are just some of the advantages. Uh, in addition to this, uh, for example, for fundamental traders, let's look at some of the advantages. For one thing, information is readily available about the instruments that you are trading. In other words, we're not trading individual stocks here, so you're not going to have to sift through databases to dig up uh, information about uh, your, your individual stock. Instead, we're trading economies, entire countries, and it's much easier to get that information. It's much more readily available. Another uh, issue is fraudulent accounting. Uh, in the equity markets, there certainly have been many instances where the accounting methods uh, gave a false impression and this costs investors a great deal of money. And certainly, again, we're trading an entity that's much larger than any individual stock. We're trading actual economies, actual countries. So we do not have to worry about accounting methods. Another thing uh, that makes uh, the Forex market considerably less complicated, uh, when you're trading equities, there are th literally thousands and thousands of stocks that you must sift through in order to you know, find your candidates to trade. And in the Forex market, it's much easier. You know, I only need to follow the economies of a handful of countries in order to trade the Forex market. So really, it's much less complicated, much simpler. I think um, another huge advantage is the ability to trade news and events. Now, I'm sure, especially if you're an equity trader, that you've been in situations where perhaps an economic indicator is released. And the market, of course, is not open yet, so uh, when it does open, the market gaps because of this news. And any market movement that's related to that news has already occurred. It's too late for you to take advantage of it. But since the Forex market is open 24 hours a day, it's open during virtually all economic indicators, uh, all news events, um, you know, again, except for the weekend, 
You can, you can find more news events, economic indicators, uh, probably than you'll be able to, to trade. Um, and let's take a look at another big advantage. The ability to trade like a hedge fund. You know, hedge funds, international banks, corporations have been trading the Forex market for years. And uh, only recently, uh, this market has become available to individuals because of advances in technology. And the type of trading that hedge funds do, uh, including interest rate arbitrage strategies, these are certainly available to the individual trader now uh, because, as I said, of the advances in technology in the Forex market. So you know, we've seen that there's a tremendous, uh, tremendous advantages to this market. So let's take a look at some of the characteristics that would comprise a good trading market. And certainly one of them would be a highly liquid market. For example, perhaps you're an equity trader and you've placed a trade in an illiquid stock and your, your order itself has moved the market. When I'm trading Forex, we don't have to worry about that because it's a much larger, much more liquid market. Unless you're a hedge fund, an institutional trader, uh, you're not really going to have to worry about your little order moving the market. Okay, so it's really not going to be an issue. Uh, Another huge advantage is market transparency. In other words, I need to know that when I hit the bid, that that's the price at which I'm going to get filled. Uh, and that's exactly the way that FXCM's trading station is set up. There's price certainty. I'm not going to be filled at any other price. Compare that to equities or futures where slippage is very common and just part of the cost of doing business. That leads us to low transaction costs. When I talk about transaction costs, I'm referring to the overall costs involved. And certainly, uh, if you're trading equities or futures, there are going to be commissions involved. There are going to be exchange fees involved. And there's going to be a spread. In the Forex market, there's just the spread. There's not going to be, you know, certainly if you're dealing with FXCM or some of the other online market makers, there will be no commission. Um, in addition to that, there are no exchange fees. So, uh, again, you know, these other markets, they need to take a portion of your trade, the equity markets and the futures markets, they need to take a piece of that trade in order to uh, keep their antiquated systems afloat. Forex markets not like that. Another huge advantage, we touched on this earlier, trending markets. Again, you know, a market that trends for long periods of time, um, you know, can be very advantageous if you're using trend following techniques. And certainly, you know, that's something that's one of the more popular features of the Forex markets. So just to recap, the Forex market, the most dynamic market in the world, we have 24-hour trading, uh, we have the most liquid market in the world, technical analysis tends to work very well in the Forex market, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. Uh, it's a free and open market, again, it's a large market, it, en it encompasses the entire world, so it's very trader friendly, it's not over-regulated like some of the US exchanges. And again, the Forex edge, why have hedge funds, uh, multinational corporations uh, been involved in Forex for all these years? Well, and now that it's our turn, the individual investor has an opportunity to get involved with Forex. We'll see, uh, we'll be exploring today exactly uh, what the Forex edge is and, and how we can take advantage of it. To begin, uh, let's, start up, let's talk about the trading day. Now, we talked about how this is a 24-hour market. The market basically follows the sun around the world. And so let's look at the markets within the, the market in Forex. Now, due to international convention, the trading day begins uh, when the markets of New Zealand and Australia open. And the reason for that is because with the international date line, uh, those, that's where Monday morning arrives first, uh, New Zealand and Australia. And so that's where we'll begin our trading day. Now, as the day progresses, a few hours later, Japan comes alive. Now, Tokyo is the third largest Forex market, and estimates range between 10 and 15 percent of all uh, Forex volume goes through Tokyo. And so the market becomes a bit more active at this point, and uh, as the trading day goes on in Tokyo, as it, actually as it's winding down, the markets of Europe uh, begin to open, and, you know, of course, trading continues. Now, the London market is the largest. The